Well, we are expecting localized heavy downpours for Pennsylvania, Washington, D.C., and all other western of North America. Severe weather alert of severe thunderstorms. Um, even to New York. But that's going to be in an effect from Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. So um, I'm going to show you right now. This is Tuesday. As you can see, this is this low pressure moving through with the cold front. And that's why this um, Thurs this Wednesday, it's going to be less humid even to Thursday at times. So um, as you can see, this is locally heavy downpours for this area. This is Tuesday. And here, we're having scattered storms. Um, and tonight, it's going to be very heavy. So um, scattered storms. Um, a few of these storms could be very very bad it could bring flash flooding um so the national weather service has issued a flash flood watch for 12 o'clock a.m from tuesday so yeah um, e um for um florida this is florida very small spots of storms so you're not gonna get lots of storms it's gonna be just a little tiny of them like right here in this area just moving here so if you're like here in this through this area, if you're like in above this area, you're going to have um, heavy downpours at times. And then it's just going to go shit. And then it's just going to die out in here in this area. And it's a high, high pressure through California, even to the pictures of the Pacific Ocean. Um, so this is the low pressure right now on the top. And the Great Lakes. So the Great Lakes is going to be covering all this of water that's going to come up the moisture and that's going to bring very heavy thunderstorms for for the one that's going to be locally heavy downpours heavy. So this low pressure here is going to move with the cold front bringing the damaging winds for some of these areas. So the damaging winds will be locally right here to here to here to here and to here. This is the only area and parts of New York will be here to here to here. This is where I really live at so we could be in part of that area. So we're gonna have some damaging winds that are expected and this storm is gonna be very powerful so be on your guard if you're in the part that's gonna be locally heavy downpours please wear boots, um, jackets, Rain jackets, heavy rain jackets, because this storm is going to bring very heavy rain, even for the northeast. So um, expect for this. So we're going to have the potential of condensation crashing into each other, air mass to air mass, and the high pressure will be crashing with the moisture, and the moisture is going to push away the low, uh, the high pressure from here in these areas. So what will happen is lots of moisture will be coming in here in this area. This is the heavy moisture that's going to come and push through the locally heavy downpours. And that's going to bring more. It's going to be an addition to a multiplication of, the, of those very heavy rain that's going to come into our northeast. But that's going to be scattered so we're gonna have heavy rain and torrential downpours so be on your guard that whenever you're in this area be sure to use boots umbrellas and stay away from puddles and stay do not drive from flood because your car will eventually get into a hazardous death and in the news some some um in the news they said that um in the news they said that we were going uh, um in the news they said that a man was um two people um uh, uh, like two people that died from a, a very heavy rain that was from this area from like this area this area was like all, all, all the way above to seven inches so here we're gonna have two to four inches of rain so this is really bad and these other areas will be sinking down and then they're gonna become light
So this will be a half inch. This um, 7 inch will locally become dry. The water will come out. So, yeah. And also, when, when I was uh, um, explaining about the news, they said um, a woman was killed and a man was missing in the car. By, by that flooding condition. And it was really sad. It was a really sad story. And Flash, Flooding was hurling around down to um, tides from streets, down streets. And that would cause really disastrous um, living things. And that it caused a lot of mold from houses. So be sure when you're going outside, wear boots and do not drive from puddles. And stay away. From fields, do not go outside when you don't have to go outside. I'm going to be recording outside of the rain that's going to happen in, in our area. Um, right now I'm in Bronx, New York, so we're going to expect that area as well. We're going to expect in the in the area. So this low pressure is going to be purling down from the cool area. And then it's going to come from this cold front, and that's going to bring giving more, moist, more moisture. And then it's going to bring vapor to warm and it crashes in together causing severe thunderstorms so this is going to be really directional downpours for Tuesday now let's go so um, before we get into um, Tuesday night to Wednesday morning be sure to be very careful with floodings these floodings will be very dangerous for outdoor activities because this rain will be very directional pouring and drenching thunderstorms and lightning New York can have probably lightning, maybe. Maybe. We're only in thunderstorms, and here in this area is having severe thunderstorms. Now let's go with Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Um, um, Wednesday morning. Alright, here it is. The cool air will start to flinch off, and the low pressure will be coming straight down. And then, Tuesday night to Wednesday morning, then we get the locally heavy downpours. So people... Be on guard that this moisture, so let me give you an example. This moisture, this is gonna this is the moisture right here. A very they said this moisture is so big that it makes multiplication of the, of heavy rain and it's adding up all of them. And that's gonna come straight even to this area. So the Great Lakes of those water will be vaporized and it will crash into the moisture and then hits from Tuesday night, it gets a lot more worse. It will become heavier, it will become at times maybe a bit windier. So watch for a bit of um, damaging winds and locally, uh, well actually this is going to be definitely heavy rain for our area. And once we go into Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, we're going to have thunderstorms. And that's going to probably be some severe. And some of those rains, that directional downpours could be very extremely strong and really, really beast. So this is going to be a beast storm that's going to be fedding up from the moisture, from the low pressure. That's in the Great Lakes. This is, um, what I, this is just an example. So this is the Great Lakes. Let me show you. Let me just put G-L which stands for the Great Lakes. This is um, Alaska, so ignore this. This is the Great Lakes. This is Ch Chicago. This is Chicago. So what will happen is the Great Lakes will, will become vaporized up from condensation and it will plunge into the cool air to the moisture. And that's what's going to cause for Tuesday night to Wednesday morning, New York City is going to get flooding. And today we had a coastal flood advisory due to that tropical storm that came from up in the area and it died out. But there was another storm that was from Europe and that pushed very tide waves, which was um, 70 feet of water. And it became here to 20 feet of water for our area. So we had issued um, flooding. And it's flash flood watch has been issued for qweather.com. So you can check it out. Check it out on Google Plus, my Google Plus profile. It's called Neil Gonzalez Gonzalez Weather X 45. When you check it, there's a post there that has that will show two to four inches of rain for New York City, even to this side of the area. So tell the difference what will happen. This is in Tuesday, and this is in Tuesday night to Wednesday morning. Be sure to take 
if you、uh, be sure to buy food today, get a lot, even to the morning, Tuesday morning, it will be white showers across a bit, and then it's gonna be very heavy rain for a time for the afternoon, but it's gonna get a lot more worse for the night. So be sure to get your flashlights, drinks, food, water, and when lightning strikes, if there was a couple of lightning strikes, be sure to like di disconnect, disconnect TV, all of cables connected because you will be getting a、uh, uh, electricity surge. So be sure to to not go outside. If you have work, be sure to wear boots, jackets, every supply. And do not go to the puddles because I'm telling you, a man and a woman was killed by a flash flooding. Amelia Rogers, Amelia、um, Rogers, Neil Gonzalez Gonzalez. Be sure to subscribe my channel, please. I will subscribe you back. And yeah, and peace. And another video will be uploaded on the midnight, maybe. Hope you guys like this video, and bye.